Hello and welcome to the Kim Iverson Show. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we do have a packed show, a lot to go over because a lot has happened uh, already into the new year and so much has already happened in 2024. Uh, before we get to the show though tonight, I want to announce that we are going to be having a locals after show. So we do have so much to talk about. We're not going to be able to get it through to get through it all in the hour that we're here and so we're going to be rolling over some of that content into the Locals After Show. That is going to be happening on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, moving forward. Most Tuesdays and Thursdays, I should say, because this Thursday I'm not going to be doing that Locals um, After Show because I'm traveling. But most Tuesdays and Thursdays after the show for about 20 minutes, we're going to be having an after show where the show continues, the content continues. So if you want to see that, then join my Locals community. That button is down below. And I would really appreciate your support. That is how we keep this independent media operation going. It's one of the one of the ways that we keep ourselves afloat. So it is really valuable uh, for us and hopefully we'll make it valuable for you in 2024 to join that Locals community. So you can look forward to that. That will be happening tonight is the kickoff of that uh, after show with more content. And if you email me, you may be featured in the Locals after show, maybe some of your tweets, some interactions there. So it's gonna be a bit more interactive um, as well as just more content because there's so much to cover and more interaction there through the locals live show. So be sure to join. Um, and that link is down below. All right, let's get started with tonight's show. We do have so much to cover. Aaron Rodgers pointed the finger at Jimmy Kimmel with the Epstein documents that are set to come out. Now, we don't have the documents yet. We're waiting with bated breath for these court documents uh, in the Virginia Jufre versus Ghislaine Maxwell and the court documents are to be unsealed. Uh, we're waiting for them. They were maybe hoping, people were hoping that they would drop today. There have been some preliminary lists that have been kind of floating around some leaks, but at this point, we don't have anything really truly official yet. Um, however, in this kind of speculative time where people are wondering who's on the list, Aaron Rodgers pointed the finger at Jimmy Kimmel and said that Jimmy Kimmel's name would appear on this list. And now Jimmy Kimmel is threatening to sue Aaron Rodgers. Let's first watch this clip. This is what, these, these are the accusations Aaron Rodgers made. This has something to do with the Epstein list that came out? <laughs> Feels like <laughs> Feels like That's it. supposed to be coming out soon. That's supposed to be coming out soon. Look, this guy's been There's waiting in his wine people. cellar. Yeah. I've been waiting in my wine <laughs> cellar for this <laughs> thing. A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Obviously, a clip from this particular program was run on Jimmy Kimmel's show uh, whenever Aaron brought up the, the list and then Jimmy mocked him for it. Mm -hmm. Aaron has not forgotten about that. But here we are sitting right in front of that nice bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I'm waiting to celebrate something. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So he uh, I'm sorry, that clip was a little weird. I don't know if I pulled the right one, but um, he basically is pointing the finger at Jimmy Kimmel. So Jimmy Kimmel has now threatened to sue. Here is uh, what Kimmel says. Here's the tweet that he just came out with. And this is all happening, you know, kind of as we speak. It says, uh, dear asshole, for the record, I've not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft-brained wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up, and we will debate the facts further in court. Yikes. So um, now it is important to remember that these court documents that are coming out, so even if Jimmy Kimmel's name appears in the court documents, it doesn't necessarily mean that he ever was associated with Epstein or visited his island or um, had any real meaningful interaction with Epstein or was involved in any of the activities, any of the pedophilia or any of the, you know, the, the sex um rings that Jeffrey Epstein or the blackmail operations that he was involved in. It doesn't necessarily mean actually that anybody who's named was truly involved. These are just the court documents with names in them. And the names are allegations or the names are of people that were seen with Epstein, maybe in a variety of maybe maybe in like photographs. For, for example, it could be where somebody's being interviewed in these court documents and they say, well, I went to Epstein's house and he had this room with with photographs of him with a lot of different famous people, and then they might rattle off some of the names that they saw in photographs from parties, for example. So 
we're, we're waiting on this list. We really want to see, uh, it's not a list. It's, you know, we're, we're going to make a list from the court documents, of course, but it's not the, it's not the client book. It's not the list. It's court documents where names were dropped throughout this court case between Virginia Giuffre and, and Ghislaine Maxwell. And, uh, and from that though, from the documents, we'll be able to read the context for each person who was involved and named. Now, apparently Bill Clinton, these, these are some of the names because right now we're, it's all speculative because we're just waiting on this list. Um, and that's getting people in trouble because clearly if you're speculating and you're saying, oh, I think this person's name on the list and they're not on the list, you are opening yourself up for a lawsuit. But all the reports that are out right now say that Bill Clinton is to be named. Uh, he's, he's apparently identified as Doe 36 and named over 50 times in the upcoming Epstein documents that are set to be released. Here's the New York Post article. Former President Bill Clinton will be identified as John Doe. Uh, John Doe 30, 36 and a trove of court documents related to the late pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, which are expected to be released this week, according to a report. Clinton 77 is mentioned more than 50 times across redacted documents related to a 2015 lawsuit from Epstein accuser Virginia Giuffre. Many of the references to Clinton are believed to stem from Giuffre's attempts to compel the former president to testify against the late sex offender and his former paramour and co-conspirator, Ghislaine Maxwell. So there's another, right? So this is Virginia Giuffre mentioning his name over and over saying, well, I wanted him to, you know, maybe I contacted him or I reached out to him in some way to see if he would help with the, right? So if they're saying that his name is in these documents because it's from her attempts to get him to testify or her lawyers were trying to get him to testify or whatever, that's why his name is appearing over 50 times. It might not be actually mine. She might say, I saw him one time or I saw him twice on the island because his name is mentioned 50 times. It does not mean that he was on the island 50 times or spotted 50 times or, you know, any of those things that we would uh, potentially deduce when we see a headline that says Bill Clinton named 50 times in Epstein documents. That right there makes us think, oh, he was involved 50 times with Epstein in some capacity or another, and it's not necessarily true. That's why it's important to understand that these are court documents that are coming out, We don't, and we have to read the context of why a person's name is mentioned, how it's mentioned, in what capacities it mentioned. Was it just that, oh, they were spotted in a photograph, or the person, maybe Epstein, used their name and drop their name to one of the young girls in order to get her to trust him, like, oh, or, or to be fascinated by him or, or enthralled by him, like, oh, I, I hang out with this particular celebrity and you really like that celebrity. And so that person's name might be mentioned in the court documents just as a name that Epstein threw out there, just trying to entice this young girl to trust him. Something as benign as that. Or it could be yeah, I saw this person on the island uh, walking around with a pretty young girl that Epstein had connected him to. Or worse, right? The, the allegations could be much worse than that and very specific against certain people, which I think they will be. So we're waiting with bated breath for these documents, but they have not released yet. There were some rumors that flight logs were released. Those flight logs, though, uh, were released a long time ago. They are older. I think they are still part of this court case. Uh, maybe they took those flight logs from that had been previously already leaked and incorporated them into the court case. So they're kind of part of the documents that are being released because they're trying to, they're apparently going to be releasing quite a bit from this court case. But a lot of what we end up receiving is stuff we may have already seen. So I'm not expecting all in all, I'm not expecting um, huge bombshells from these court documents. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a lot of what we already know. And uh, there won't be really any major revelations. Uh, I think if there were major revelations and if there were some names that are really going to be dropped and it was going to be really, truly consequential, I don't think they'd be being released, quite frankly. I think that obviously what Epstein was doing seems to point towards a blackmail operation and uh, a blackmail operation that probably worked. And so since it worked, it's not likely to unravel at this point. Otherwise, the entire blackmail operation unravels and the people who are truly behind the blackmail operation um, would be exposed. And there's just too much power in that. 
So I don't think that we're going to see, maybe the only names we're going to see are people who are no longer consequential. It doesn't matter if they're exposed as being affiliated with Epstein because they've lost their use, you know, with the blackmailing of them. It's okay. They're no longer really that important. Uh, I, I believe, though, Clinton is still important. I think that to people in power, I think Clinton, uh, his wife and himself and Bill himself are still important figures in politics and still have a lot of power in politics, even though they're not in them directly. They're definitely behind the scenes. And so I don't think we're going to see any bombshells there. <laughs> uh, I would love to see, I, you know, many of us would love to see that, but I just don't have any faith that that's what's going to happen. So we will wait, but later this week, we're supposed to be getting more of these names and more of these documents. Um, then I'll start combing through everything that we've got, and we'll see if there's anything at all that might be somewhat interesting that is is more than what we already know. So stay tuned, I suppose, for the Epstein st saga continues, uh, and, and probably will always continue, because I don't think we're ever going to get any real answers from it. But we can get, you know, just some little snippets, I suppose. I don't know.